Good morning.
goes off the chest. Mm -hmm. I took a, that small piece that was on top. I forgot that seven is ocean. Seven? Seven? I don't know. Tell me. I'll get it down with that paint. That'll be close enough to my... Well, what's the fifth one? The main thing is not... No? First one? I didn't say it. You said it. Go out there to that hotel. Go out there to that hotel. Do your schoolwork rather than notion. Good morning. morning. Every publication's all free. Help yourself. Good morning. 
Hi, good morning. All the printed materials, all free. She's here earlier. I think she was waiting for yeah, to see. Very nice. Anything you're interested in, help yourself. Thank you. Yeah. Any traction you want to pass out to people? Maybe for you or a friend. I'm going to be here a while. I might come just get some reading material. And Amen. Yeah, help just yourself. Get some good books. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? Uh, well, you got tracks in there? Yep. Everything's free. All the printed material. Many stuff on the Bible itself, Bible study materials, subjects. Help yourself to anything you want. That's my calling. I pass out tracks. Amen. You're sowing the seed, Mark chapter 4. Yep, I'm on my way. I'll see you forever. Amen. He got hung on the cross. He fought inside of him. One of them passed away. The other said, What I got to do to be saved? He says, Just believe. He says, God came into Jesus and says, I'll see you in paradise this day. And believe believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. I should be saved. He didn't have to go through the Ten Commandments or nothing. He just Yep. Okay. You, you have, have any tracks that say, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son? Let's see what we got. I had some of them and I ran out. Serving the Lord. That's it. That's us. All I can contribute. And you know it makes all the angels rejoice when one makes it. Yep. And we get saved. And I, and I try to. Man, re man gets all excited because he throws a ball through a hoop or something, but angels get excited when a new man breaks it down. Turn yeah, I don't have any of the ones. You've got a good testimony. Do you have anything similar to it? We got Jesus is the only way to heaven. It has not been. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. I got my daughter passing my too. I want to see my family in heaven. You a veteran? Yes, sir. Thank you for your service, sir. I was on the Saratoga and Randolph as a... Oh boy. <laughs> Old age. When the Lord gave me mission and battleship aircraft carrier, the enemy sunk both of them and I ended up on the islands and I caught tracking some diseases. Some kind has just now come out on me in the last three years. Wow. I was in America. I was playing softball and I retired. I worked for the city and all of a sudden, boom. My health was taken away from me. On the islands? I don't know. I know eight guys that I was with went into Georgia. And I had a testament to the. They never come back. Huh. Well, thank you for your service, sir. Thank you, sir. My grandpa was over in TV. Oh, yeah. He's got many good stories he, he had. I was a poor man. Yeah. 
sitting up this door for us with keys and stuff. And so once we get back, we had to go down and retrieve the guys out of them. They're coming in and say, Brad, but now they got rid of it all that. They go. Yeah. Well, I, I was saying when I was about 15, I was born in a Dumbass Mennonite farm in Indiana. I hate people to ask me, I couldn't tell you. I farmed for 10 years and then I went into the family. I was one of the first two buildings taller in the Empire State Building. That took care of my real I couldn't make it year round, so I moved to Florida. I moved to Titusville. Fifteen years, and I came here to be shown. My wife passed away. Can I go out to the people? I went to the city. No, you can do your school. Anyway. And I know you're a Christian. It makes me feel better. Amen. Well, there's one thing we can count from the Bible and God. He's a great record keeper. People don't realize that. You know, they say numbers and four. Yeah, I'll tell you what, as far as the east and the west of the, the old sky, but you don't forgive it. You always say, I forgive, and you don't remember your sins no more. Sins are the Lord, but I said, what sins? If there's anything that God can do, you can forget those sins. In the sky, they take the disciples, his testimony and everything, and they went into the world, and he sat in the right hand of the Lord. But when you pray, you pray to the Holy Spirit, to Jesus, and then when God hears it, then he's praying for us. And then he, then he, he decides what, when, and what, and he don't always do it. Jesus praying for us this week, right? Uh, one day he's coming. Uh, one day. According to the Bible, we're going to be too long. No. No. But we don't know. But we never know. We just, just got to be ready. That's all. Yeah. Thank you for your testimony. Have a good day now. Thank you. I hear a train.
I come from where they grow 1,800 acres. Yeah, one, two, three, four, I've got some real old equipment. You know, I've never seen nothing like that. Good morning, sir. How you doing? What's up there? Good. How you doing? Good. 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 In Boston, this means I lost my car key. <laughs> car key. Car key. Uh, yeah. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. Hey, there's a monster in here. Who's sleeping? Okay. You have to fight her twice. That's no real indication. Wait, so give me that that report. Jesus save, Jesus Put it up. <coughs> uh, 
Kind of a frogman, World War II, which you go over the plane falls off an aircraft here, you go down and find the body. You got some kind of, you went on the island, you got strands from on the island to get some kind of disease. But he never came out. <laughs> Good morning, sir. How you doing? Good morning. All the printed materials free. Help yourself. Well, but the camera's on a dollar. Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And I got happy going. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> That's what I'm I'm thinking of most in the house. I'm freaking out. So. <laughs> I can get an hour at least. That's what I'm looking for. Before we've been the half hour. Has it moved at all? 
Good morning, sir. How are you doing? And men were called to preach 
great revival was taking place because of the suffering of God's people here in this country. And we find that God would use not only that man, but another by the name of James Ireland. James Ireland was in prison as a Baptist preacher in Culpeper County, Virginia. They hated him. They said, God's wife, the crowds would come, they'd gather, they'd outside of the jails to hear the Baptist preacher preach. The attorney
I thought that guy was sitting there. I thought he was one of them. Like, made it move. Like, really? Yeah. They were disappointed that there was nothing to do. Oh, man. Oh, man. He moved, huh? Oh, man. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's like they made a man one of those things. And it moves. the 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 No, no, 
no crime in him. I find no guilt in him. That's not what provides. There's not enough room here for the both of us. Exactly what it I'm going to have to go home. That you and I have ah. faults. Every one of us have faults. We have a place where the enemy I might have to leave at 10 more You know what? The guy's on the back side of the side of the side of the side of the Recognize the impeccability of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You see, he's not like we are. No, he wasn't a sinner. He wasn't guilty. He was no crime. You know this about you. No faults. He was susceptible to no sin. Satan could have put all the pressure he desired on him and his entire family. He served him not once. Not once. No fault. No fault. Not only no sense, but no fault. Isn't it interesting? We have faults and we also pray that we would. Yeah, as you retire. Turn with me to 1 Thessalonians. As you retire. Chapter 1. We'll take our text from there this morning. It's good to be here. Thank you again, ladies. You have uh, anything to do with the meals that you're serving. Good morning. Sir, how you doing? We're not bound by some puffy bird. I'd have known that. 
that. I can cross them. I've got them there today. We're going to try to make that fun. My guy is gone. We have heard about all of the pedo packs. Yes, sir. Oh, the German guy. I'm going to And it's false, false, and false, and fundamentalistic. Instead of we don't have time to elaborate on it on this year, but we are not fundamentalists. We are Bible believing Baptists. That's what we are. And if you don't know what the difference is, I'll be glad to talk with you about it later and tell you why you are what you are. We're Bible believing Baptists. Fundamentalist is about a David Brainerd. He's right God for everything that God used the David Brainerd to do that was right. And we thank him for that, but we don't forget, and I can support, uh, brother, Good morning. All the printed materials are all free. McCoy was a Bible-believing Baptist. He was a missionary to the American Indians. David Brown had about 85 converts under his ministry, and thanks God for everyone who had faith, but he didn't baptize those converts as believers. He didn't bring the believers back to him. Doesn't the scripture say that we should? Absolutely. That's the problem that you would have with a DL meeting or a Billy Sunday. They did not completely fulfill the Great Commission because they did not baptize the converts. So loud and clear, Benjamin Franklin seemed to have heard it a mile away. He was driven from his land and would have to go farther and farther west. I think the point is that the invitation of my own land. That's what you need to do. Get your cars and stuff in order to see it. No, it's like putting it in the cloud. And it's deep, wet, and warm. They took the trip. They appeared before the Congress and the Senate made a three different presidents on behalf of the Indian Territory. The crusades were Rome's effort to force the will of the people. Yep. Send that off to the history table. Yes, I see you asked the question right. Who founded the church in Providence for allowing it in the year 1650? Yes, I say the first church. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Fine, thank you. No, this is you. Got fat. Yeah. 
fraud in a bar. He used his own quick sale. And he sent one of their own to go out and preach to those people oh, who were trusting in their infant baptism that you must be born again. And then they say to George, don't <laughs> No. He said, you must be born again. I'm going to why. And people would believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And they would be found to make the Christians millions of people. Instead of using the word demon, the King James Bible correctly uses what word? Last 12 verses of Mark are doubted by his Chapter 5, Good morning, ma'am. How you doing? This mouth is so marked out.
the world of color. They, they made it a holiday yesterday because um, after 36 years you know, we've been we've gone there. Sir, how you doing? Doing fine, thank you. How you doing? Good. All the printed materials free for you. Plenty of information. Baptist Church, these separate 
They were known for something that was called their ardor, their zeal. Baptist churches up until that time were known for their order. They that were very like straight in their service. You heard a mile away, but it's said it all. But something happened God there. God said, you keep on trying to remember that name. It's in the book for you. Baptist churches forever. You see, whenever she was <laughs> married, we'll begin to What did John Clark do in Newport, Rhode Island in the year 1638? Praise the Lord! That's where it was first. Sorry, the first American Baptist Church. We used to do it. At the Sandy Creek Baptist Church, aren't we here at a camp meeting this week? The first camp meeting in America took place on the grounds of the Sandy Creek Baptist Church in 1758. There, Sandy Creek, North Carolina. God was doing a mighty work. I get you. We find that you will turn old brother-in-law Daniel Marshall was one of the original members of the Sandy Creek Baptist Church. He'd go out to South Carolina and plant churches. And then into Georgia and plant churches. Started around 8 o'clock at 9, 18. And you got half a bad one. Only seven years old when he turned and Marshall constituted the Sandy Creek Baptist Church. Less than 45 minutes. No doubt that little boy watched his father and his uncle travel and give them their time to plant Baptist churches, and he listened to them preach, but it wasn't until he was 21 years of age. There in South Carolina, the people told the Lord Jesus Christ against his Savior, but God would call him to preach as well. He helped his father start that oldest Baptist church there in Georgia, the Coyote Baptist Church, in a little community called Abbey, just outside of Augusta. If you get a chance to visit that historic site, do so. But we find Abraham Marshall would become the second pastor of that church, and he would, when his father died, travel back to Connecticut to settle his father's estate. All of you read the journal of Abraham Marshall as he chronicles that trip as they travel back to that place. He says that when he started out, he knew that his horse couldn't make the trip, and he prayed two things. Lord, I need a horse that will get me to New England and back. And Lord, I need a wife too. Would you give me one of those? So not long Afterwards, he started out, he rode by a man's house, and the man there said, Son, you're not going to be able to make your journey with that horse. Why don't you leave your here and get mine? It's a good horse. It'll get you there and back with no problem. Abraham said, Well, the Lord answered that prayer. If you can give me a horse, I know he can give me a wife. And so he went on up into Virginia, and there he stopped at the Baptist preacher's house, John Waller. And John Waller had a daughter named Anne. They had a whirlwind courtship. Abraham said, I've got to go north and take care of some business, but when I get back, we'll get married. And so he went on his way, and he went up into Connecticut. And he found that God was moved from that man, Abraham Marshall, or his home, who worked there in Sandy Creek Baptist Church. He'd go all over New England preaching the gospel. The congregational churches, for the first time, would do something that they'd never done. They opened their doors to that Baptist preacher, and he'd come in and he'd preach, and great crowds would come to hear it. Oh, what a thing to the crowd was so great that it literally the foundation of the church cracked. It dropped down, they went to dive it out the windows to get out. The house was caving in, but they all got out safely. They went out into the field, he preached, people were saved, and they became a Baptist. The Lord stayed with his son, Elijah Marshall, there in Windsor, Connecticut. It was rumored that Elijah Marshall was a congregational preacher. Abraham Marshall was a Baptist, and they were going to have a debate on the subject of baptism. And so the day came that they had the debate on baptism. Eliakim later testified that he hoped to maintain seven propositions on baptism against uh, his cousin, but he said that very quickly Abraham had taken out of those propositions away, and it didn't take you long before you removed the remaining two. But when you've been defeated in the debate, you can't really demand that you embrace the other position. And so Eliakim Marshall preached that congregational church and knew that he had to come about. And on the day that was set for the baptism, that over 3,000 people gathered to watch the baptism of that day. The Baptist leading his congregational cousin down into the water. And we find that as the old man Elijah stepped into the water, he began to testify about the day that God had saved his soul. And when he did, tears began to run down his face. And then he said, as the story goes, you can look in the crowd, and there were tears running down the faces of thousands in the crowd. And then he began to testify how he had reached the truth about believers' baptism from the word of God, and he must submit himself to that ordinance, and Abraham Marshall, that boy at Separate Baptist from Georgia, baptized his cousin there in Windsor, Connecticut, and not only his cousin, but every member of that congregational church that he pastored, that placed faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, followed their preacher into the waters of baptism.
baptism that day and submitted themselves to believers baptism and were organized into a Baptist church on that occasion. God is using this separate Baptist movement is going all over America and God is working similar stories just like that. Jubal Stearns is preaching and we find that two boys, Joseph and William Murphy brothers, they get saved. They're preaching one night up in Virginia in a storefront. And Samuel Harris, the colonel of the militia, he's going by out of curiosity. He goes in to hear what's taking place. And he sits down behind a room hoping. But what he doesn't realize is the spirit of God sees him sitting back there. And God uses the word of God like he always does. It won't return void. Church, yeah. we got a yeah. the church, yeah. the yeah. the church, 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 the the Thank 
preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, but people were saved in the time out of that jail cell. And people were called to preach. Great revival was taking place because of the suffering of God's people here in this country. And we declare that God would use not only that man, but another by the name of James Ireland. James Ireland was in prison as a man was free from the church in Culpeper County, Virginia. That hated them, but likewise the crowds would come and gather there outside of the jail to hear the man who preached the preach. The authorities hated him so much that they tried to kill him. They tried to poison him. He survived the poisoning him, but his daughter died. She was poisoned by the Lord.
I'm trying to reach anybody if you want to grab some information to pass on to somebody you might be trying to open the door. We've got one bar left, about an hour and a half, it's not bad. So what do you guys see you can't live without? Good morning, folks. All the printed materials, all free. Help yourself. I love your shirt. I love that shirt. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We had a group sing at church, and they were selling these hats. And we got Bible studies, everything about particular doctors. Uh, Bible study booklets over there that you can. Uh, what, uh, what nation, uh, what faith are you? Baptist, born again Baptist. Okay, okay, you're good to go. What do you say? We'll be going. That's right, absolutely. See ya. What is it? If you're doing uh, a particular subject, and what you do is you just follow along with King James Bible, fill in the blanks. And if you send it to them, take the sides up, send it to them, 
they used to for a while, they would give you a rule to put the thing that you have finished that book. And if it's a series of books, they'll send you the next one. Then you do that again, you send it off, and you know, they'll correct it for you and everything. Amen. Help yourself, friends, full, co workers, neighbors. All right. Stay. Sir, how are you doing? Good. 
I can't do that music. What church are you guys from? Bible Baptist Church in Lance. We have a invitation to There's another like a book, two, three, or four. Like we have the series. They'll send you the next one. Is that a whole series? This one. Yeah. This one's a whole series. Can I take that? Yeah, yeah we got all kinds. Of, that, that's charismatic. I don't know which one you Yeah, you pick a series that you want. Um, yeah. Practical Christian Living is a good one. Yeah. Yeah, religious courses, doctrine. Yeah. Salvation, L. Eternal salvation. All different kinds of subjects. I'm glad you guys are here. You want to hear some of our pastors preaching? You like it? Come out and visit. I'll listen to it on the way home. There you go. Got bumper stickers. Got the gospel in the newspaper. Good news. That's Romans and the gospel of John. Do y'all do these? We ordered them. Oh, you ordered them. Okay, well, this is the nice Yeah, Just take a table. The testament has got the gospel on the back. Wow. That's interesting. Let me see something for your friends. Let me see what this is. It's a scriptural way to tell people they got bad rep. Jesus What? Wow. <laughs> We have some more interesting books up here. Yeah, free books up here from our. Oh, okay. Let me see what those are. Men in Christ, Christ is strong. Why there are so many different foundations? Search the scriptures. That sounds interesting. Here's the truth. I'm going to take a search this picture. Sure. Oh, here's the truth. No problem. Okay, thank you so much. All right. I think that's just, just the New Testament, the whole, the Bible. Oh, that is, this is, this, oh, no, I don't need that. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, I got it. I got one. Yeah, that is a yeah, New King Testament. Oh, okay, that's it. All right, no, this is what I need. Okay, the good man lost, the bad man saved. Wow. I was yeah, that's, that's John the Desperate that was preaching in Infield, Connecticut, and the whole congregation just got right with the Lord from that one. Really? Huh. All right. Chickens in the boat and eating the boat. Ha, ha, ha. 
Lori, ma'am, how you doing? That's what Good morning, sir. How you doing? All the printed materials all free. Thank you so much, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much, okay? Yeah. Go down and make money and stop buying things. I haven't sold, I think I don't. I haven't sold seven bucks in this <laughs> I can just keep that. No, you can't do it. Half of what I make. I know, I'm not trying to do all of what I make. I'm only at one sale. Well, so. Yeah, okay. You are. You are. You are.
Jesus Christ in the Bible. Thank you. There's nothing in here that supports infant baptism. And so they believe those congregational churches and they believe those Anglican churches and they would become Baptists. But I do know this. I'm yet. Oh, 
Morning, sir. How you doing? All the reading material is all free. It's about God, the Bible, and Jesus Christ. Up here too. How much for your book? Free. I'm a believer, but we always have questions. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Have a good day now. Oh, I'm 
not only in Italia, but also in every place, your faith in God will spread abroad. We think of the separate Baptist Church there at Sandy Creek Baptist Church. Now, we think of the Baptist Church there at Sandy Creek Baptist Church. They were known for something that was called their order. The Baptist Church of Church of that time were known for their order. They were very strange in their services. Not much was said at all. But something happened there at the Sandy Creek Baptist Church that would change Baptist churches forever. You see, whenever Shubal Spirit will begin preaching the Word of God, you hear something like, Amen! Praise the Lord! That's where it was first evident. The first place that it happened in Baptist churches was there at the Sandy Creek Baptist Church. Mark, we hear the camp meeting this week. The first camp meeting in America took place on the grounds of the Sandy Creek Baptist Church in 1758 there in Sandy Creek, North Carolina. God was doing a mighty word. We find that Shubal Stern's own brother-in-law, Daniel Marshall, was one of the original members of the Sandy Creek Baptist Church. He'd go out to South Carolina and plant churches. And then into Georgia and plant the first Baptist church there in Georgia. His son Abraham was only seven years old when Stern and Marshall constituted the Sandy Creek Baptist Church. No doubt that little boy watched his father and his uncle travel and give them their time to plant Baptist churches. And he listened to them preach. But it wasn't until he was 21 years of age. There in South Carolina, that he was the Lord has a son and his Savior. But God would call him to preach as well. He helped his father and son. Does that make little, little cardboard things with tabs in them? That should hold them off. And maybe run a cardboard down the bottom. If you get a chance to visit that historic site, do so. But we find Abraham Marshall would become the second pastor of that church. And he would, when his father died, travel back to Connecticut to settle his father's estate. Oh, if you'd read the journal of Abraham Marshall as he chronicles that trip, as they travel back to that place, he said that when he started out, he knew that his horse couldn't make the trip, and he prayed two things, Lord, I need a horse that will get me to New England and back, and Lord, I need a wife too, would you give me one of those? So not long afterwards, he started out, he rode by a man's house, and the man there said, son, you're not going to be able to make your journey with that horse. Why don't you leave yours here and take mine? It's a good horse. It'll get you there and back with no problem. Abraham said, well, the Lord answered that prayer. If he can get me a horse, I know he can get me a wife. And so he went on up into Virginia, and there he stopped at the Baptist preacher's house, John Waller. And John good. Waller had a daughter. They had a whirlwind fortune. Abraham said, I've got to go north, take care of some business, but when I get back, we'll get married. And so he went on his way. And he went up into Virginia, and the journal reports that God would move on that man, Abraham Marshall, or as well to the work there in Sandy Creek Baptist Church. He'd go all over New England preaching the gospel. The congregational churches, for the first time, would do something that they had never done. They opened their doors to that Baptist preacher, and he'd come in and he'd preach, and great crowds would come to hear it. Started on here, took off the whole thing, and I find what I'm looking for right now. The church cracked, it dropped down, people were diving out the windows to get out of the house of David. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? All the publications about Jesus in the Bible are all free. He stayed with his cousin Elijah Marshall there in Windsor, Connecticut. There was rumor that Elijah Marshall was a congregational preacher. Abraham Marshall was a Baptist that they were going to have a debate on the subject of baptism. And so the day came that they had the debate on baptism. Elijah later testified that he hoped to maintain seven propositions on baptism against Good morning, folks. How you doing? All the publications about the Bible and Jesus are all free. Help yourself. There are booklets up here. The gospel tracts, Bible studies. And I think that's funny. The party in hell has canceled due to the fact that he had reached the truth about believers' baptism from the word of God, and he must submit himself to 
that ordinance, and Abraham Marshall, that boy, a separate captain from Georgia, baptized his cousin there in Windsor, Connecticut, and not only his cousin, but every member of that congregational church that he pastored, that put his faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, followed their preacher into the waters of baptism that day, and submitted themselves to believers' baptism, and were organized into a Baptist church on that occasion. God is using this separate Baptist movement is going all over America. God is working similar stories just like that. Jubal Stearns is preaching, and we find the two boys, Joseph and William Murphy, brothers, they get saved. They're preaching one night up in Virginia in a storefront. And Samuel Harris, the colonel of the militia, he's going by out of curiosity. He goes in to hear... Good morning, sir. How you doing? All the publications about the Bible and Jesus are all free. Help yourself. God's working with him. He's, he's blessing us with his work. He was brought before the court on that occasion. And he handled himself so well. Now, he wasn't in prison then, just the rest of But he handled himself so well that one of the members of the jury, a man known as Swearing Jack, Swearing Jack, would listen. Morning, sir. How you doing? Good, yourself? Good. So that Baptist preacher, the way that he handled himself, and he thought this is unusual, and they let him go on that occasion, but when he let him go, he, before he left, did a strange thing, they were in the tavern, and so he followed around the priest and the judge of the jury, the Baptist preacher did, and Craig gave them a toast, and he said, listen, when I was out in the world living for the devil and doing all things that were wicked and evil, you seem to take no notice of it, but now that I'm saved, I seem to offer my great deal of your attention, and then further smoke. Morning. Good morning. How you doing? I'm doing good. Awesome. That's how God is working. Just one right after the other. There's a continual progression. And by the way, swearing Jack, his name was John. John Waller. You've already heard his name mentioned. You see, it was his daughter that Abraham Marshall boarded as he was going through on his way to Connecticut. Yes, they were married on the way back. That's the end of the story. And guess what they did? Hey, there you are. How you doing? Hey, buddy. Yeah, I handed a few of those out. My mom was tickled by the candy. She, that was great. There's more there. I'm good on them. She, she liked them, though. Like I said, I'd rather someone grab them to like them than I get the message. May I have one of your mitts? Help yourself. Thank you very much. I they're, appreciate it. They're testaments. So make sure you have some mitts. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Virginia. You got in Rhode Island, but not in Virginia. There's the established church, and we find that he is there. Whenever he was put in jail, he couldn't get to the congregation. The congregation came to him, and he preached Jesus while he was in the jail cell. And there, when he preached Jesus, he'd get thrilled with the preaching. He pressed his arms out through the window, and the guards stationed on the outside would cut his arms with their knives, and literally the blood would flow from his arms and his hands as he preached the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, but people were saved outside of that jail. We got a first person that asked for a candy without us pushing it. It's almost empty. Somebody's been taking candy because there's not many in there. Not many people been here unless someone else. I don't know where they are because that bowl was full. The last, last weekend it was full. Great job. Not for you. Unless you're offered by us. We find that they tried to suffocate him, they tried to blow him up, they tried to beat him. Yeah, I see you. No. Smart dude. I see you. 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 I got any linen, if you got any food, you got it from your friends and your family. The Baptist preacher had many. He used to get sick before he sat down. You know what happened? The Baptist preacher took the one he got. He gave it to the man who didn't care with him. The man believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. I think I got this on the loop because it keeps raining the same sort of thing. It's lapped into your heart. There's other stuff on this MP3 player is what I'm saying. I think it's on a loop or something. Setting. I didn't do anything to it. The Lord said it to come on that day. Because it's got Pilgrim's Progress on there too. Um, I don't get upset when I live in my family. Elijah Baker is in the Mount Eastern Shore of Virginia. They're in the jail in Akamak. While he's in prison for being a Baptist preacher, a man by the name of Thomas Baptist comes to him and says, Preacher, we need churches over in Delaware. Won't you come over and preach to us and start churches there? He said, Well, I'm a little tied up at the moment. I can't do it. And so the people hated this Baptist preacher so much that they put him aboard the ship and said, Put him off in any foreign country. Don't, we don't want him here anymore. They sailed it. And a storm that came up, story. the Baptist preacher is preaching, and he is singing, and he is praying while he's working there on board, and he says, I'm your Jonah, and they put him overboard into another vessel, and he started the same thing aboard that ship, the same trouble arose, they put him on a third vessel to put him off wherever you come to, and when they came to shore there, they put the Baptist preacher off. To the first house that he saw, he knocked on the door. He said, Could you tell me where I am? He said, Yes, you're in Delaware. And so he started to the church. I'm not even there in Delaware. You see, there's shepherd Baptists everywhere. They are starting Baptist churches, preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. God's using them, and He is blessing them. Sir, how are you doing? Two for thirty dollars. Okay, 
gotta look into the laws and everything. You can use them. Just like you can use the mouse. I could pay them. Well, I'll have Tracks too. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah, I get them from the. Yeah. Is the Track Society of America? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll go back to more books. Amen. What you looking for? Amen. You're welcome. All right. The trick tracks are great for the kids if you have. And we got young, Christmas ones. If you got young ones that you want to lead to the Lord, the trick tracks are like little comic books. They love them. The mall don't like them, but the kids like them. The kids love them, yeah. Don't run. Thanks again. All right, you're you have welcome. a good day now. Yeah. It's nice that they're all together now. Thank you. Battery time. 
Battery to be. Good morning, ma'am. How you doing? All the printed material about the Bible and Jesus are all free. Those right there, you use your Bible and the Bible study. Can I get two of them? Yeah. Help yourself. They're all free. And what you do is you send it to the company. You know, it's like you take the sides up. And sometimes what they do is they'll give you a little reward and if you finish that course. Now, there's other courses here if you look. Okay, so uh -huh. We got health, salvation, eternal security, good food in the Bible. I want the batteries. That's Spanish. We got Spanish ones, too. All kinds of particular subjects. So you see you like, go ahead and help yourself. For yourself, for your friends, whatever you want. Any of the books, tracks. Well, you can say it's just one, it's just one book. You know what? Maybe, uh, maybe. Yeah. We put them in sets. So. Some of them are booked all one book together. Yeah. Some it's one whole set right there. You gotta check. Here is. Salvation, eternal security. Those particular ones too. If you go on my YouTube site, I did that with my family and it's recorded on video. Gotta go. There's a lot of videos there. You gotta go into the really the end. So I got I got like over a thousand videos right now, or more every night. But we went through those. Step by step, book by that. We did money, family. And they're very great. So much better once we put it in uniform and both tabs so people can see. Yeah, we'll have all the with the books and all that.
to understand something about the Lord Jesus Christ. Then Pilate therefore took Jesus and scourged him. And the soldiers sat around a thorn to put on his head, and they put on him a purple robe and said, Hail, King of the Jews, and they smote him with their hands. Pilate therefore went forth again and saith unto them, Behold, I bring him forth to you, that he may know that I find no fault in him. Now your modern Bible version will change the truth. They'll say, I find no sin in the sin. 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 It means the same thing with the sin. And you and I have a part. We can't have a place where the enemy can't make food under that grave. You know what? The Bible is teaching you here. That he that on the lost Thank you. 
We're, we're here on Fridays only. Every Friday, Lord willing, we're here from 7.30ish to 1 o'clock. Yeah. Do you have any little kids that you want yeah. to share the gospel with? This is like good for a little boy. Yeah, so that's why I say. This is look good for a little girl. Yeah. So that's why I think I'll pick one. Yeah. To choose. Yeah. Okay. You are okay. You have a good day now. Can you treat me? No? Can you treat me? Yeah. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? Good, good. God bless you. How are you? Good. Help yourself to anything. If you have family, friends, yourself. Books, all the booklets, studies are all free. Gospel tracks, CDs. Shells are full, brother. I give it away. I try to give it away every time it comes to my house. Try. Have you seen? Have you seen that video? Video? That DVD is really good for trying to reach somebody. I don't. I don't look at videos. So that's, that's a challenge right there. But, uh, I just pray John 17, 17 of them. Say to by the truth, Lord, and yeah. the truth. Yeah. I'm not, I already got your card. Right. I've been here before. Yeah. We'll take a testament. A, a little mint, mint candy. I got a million dollar bill in my wallet. It's about the same size. <laughs> it's regular size, but it's got that information. Yes. Every once in a while, somebody says, what's that? <laughs> yeah, we had some that were the same size as dollars. Yeah. I got it. They went fast. It's part of my mammoth. They all went at the Tomoka. Oh, yeah, the Tomoka's at Walmart now. <laughs> Have a good day now, sir. I can't remember what happened yesterday. I remember all week long you kept on saying, you know I didn't hear that. No? I know they hear it seven now. Some be dead days, really bad, good days, bad days here. And around the world, they can preach their
Yeah. Boy, look at that. That's, that's a gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. But actually, that's I don't need these CDs. What are you looking for, Case? Yeah. Let's get a bigger case. Look, now she's on top of the board. Yeah, that is. Yeah, the only thing is that holds the whole case cover is that it holds the CD itself. Yeah. yeah. It does. Folks, how you doing? Good. Morning, sir. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good.